Okay guys, welcome back. I'm going to do another cloud pour. Now, if you saw my last couple of videos, I did a waterfall pour where I inclined the canvas and poured that way. And then I did another one, I inclined the canvas and poured that way. And today I'm just going to do a straight pour in the center and see how that goes. I've added a little bit of pink. I think that might look nice. You know how sometimes we get that little bit of pink in the, in the sky with the sunset? So I'm going to go for that. Uh, same mix as before. The white is equal parts flow troll to white. And the white is made up with two parts artist loft and one part of milk paint. So that's that. The colours are two parts flow troll to one part of the Montmartre Studio Acrylic. So this one is the phthalo blue with a touch, just a tiny little blob of black. Uh, this one, I also made that, but I put a little bit of purple in it, I think. It's just to give it a slightly different hue and a bit of black and a bit of white. It's kind of a smoky kind of a blue. And then the pink, um, it's just, what did I do? Goodness, I can't even remember. I made this color ages ago and then I just add my pouring medium to it when I want it. It's, I think it's just red and white, um, <clears throat> cerulean blue and white to lighten that one. So that's it there. So those are all two to one. I'm going to move that out of the way. I'm hoping that this old canvas isn't going to be too saggy in the middle. Just found it. So I thought, oh yay, I'll use that. Now let's start layering. No silicone oil in these paints today. And then my white. So this is the, the cloud maker, the white. I think I put too much white in there. <laughs> a little bit of pink. Maybe we'll have, uh, I don't know, three layers. I want to make the layers relatively big so that um, the colors don't blend too much. A little bit of white. Because, I mean, I don't want my colours all to blend. I want to be able to see the different colours. So I think three layers. You see how much paint I've got. I'll just keep going until I... Oh, no, this looks like I'm going to do four. Let's finish that off. Hopefully I've got enough room in my cup for another one. This is a... I think it's a 40 by 50 centimetre canvas oh, just just enough little tiny bit of paint left over I'm not going to scrape it out I've got some white left over in case I need to do my corners look at that isn't that pretty okay now let's hope this works hey I was debating whether to pour a puddle of white in the middle, but I'm just going to see how it goes. We've got plenty of white in there. All right, so I'm just going to do a straight pour. And see what happens. I was deciding whether to do uh, like a ring pour, but... I'm just going to do a straight one and see what happens because I do lots of ring pours. I'm just going to turn this around. If you turn your cup around, you get different effects. You don't get all your same colour in one spot, which I think is nice. A little bit of a jiggle just at the end there. <gasps> Shoo, fly, did you see that? Oh, my struggle with flies is real, y'all. Tis. All right, look at that. Wow. Now, because I moved my cup around a little bit, I haven't got like all the color on one side and then all the white on another side. So cross fingers that it'll look pretty. I don't know where my pink is. Let's 
see what happens as I start tilting. Give that a torch. Pop some bubbles. Because that was pretty quick, hey? So I pop them now. I don't really like to pop them afterwards because they make little pits. Oh, it's looking cloudy. For a minute as I said I've still got some white so might as well use it pour a little bit on the corners just in case I don't go over all my corners at least my corners will be covered but I've got plenty of paint this this big cup holds uh, about oh, 500 Grams of mixed paint. Shoo! I'm gonna swat you. You've got a swatter, I'll swat you. You come back. Come back and die. I'll leave it there. Um, right, let's spread this out. Just a quick little spread. Canvas is sinking a little bit in the middle with the weight of the paint but hopefully it'll spring back. I should have sprayed the, the back of it yesterday so that it had time to dry and you know tighten up a little bit but I didn't think about it because I actually didn't know what I was going to pour today. I mean we did talk about doing this pour uh, in my last video didn't I? So we we did yes because you were all answering me weren't you I said, yes let's do that all right so that is covered now let's get to tilting hey i'm going to go around in a big circle first because i like to do that Off to that corner, come back. Is there something in there? I thought there was. No, maybe not. No, there is. <clears throat> now I've walked away and lost where it was. Okay, back to this corner. Still can't see my pink. Come back. Do the last corner. Okay. Well, I don't see the pink anywhere. <laughs> oh, that's okay. It must have been a little bit thinner than the other colours. Maybe it's in there, just as a little slight hue, but we can't see it. So what do you think? Very abstract, cloudy, poor. We've got quite a lot of white through there. The navy tends to give kind of a, a greyish hue because there's black in the navy, but I don't I don't mind that at all. Um, I think it's nice having that darker colour uh, mixed in with this more of a bright blue, and then there's little wispy bits of the light blue through there. I'm going to leave it like that. I was debating whether to take that white off, but then I'll lose this. So I don't want to lose that so there we go that was nice and quick 
there's no real right or wrong with these particular cloud pores you know you just move the paint around until you it's covered and, and you're happy with it um, yeah picture down for a close-up see what you think Oh, very stormy looking, isn't it? It is. All right, we'll get you down for a close up. So obviously with the ring pour, um, you'd get more of a ring look, but I just feel that with the ring pour, the white tends to look like curled up sausages and that's not really what I was I think that clouds should look like I prefer them to be this more sort of um, natural kind of a look I have done them previously I'm trying to zoom out a little bit I've got powder on my hand so it won't work okay I'll just have to stand back um, yeah so <clears throat> the one with, I'll show you the difference. Just watch that while I reach over here and grab this one. So this one was a ring pour. And you can obviously see the rings. And see what I mean about the clouds looking like sausages? I just prefer this sort of a more natural look, if you know what I mean. We've got some of the light blue showing through there. The clouds do look so fluffy and full, like big cotton wool balls, don't they? Aerial shot, I guess, <laughs> looking down. Rivers, clouds. There you go. Hope you enjoyed that video. Hope you like it. And it actually looks as if there's a few little cells popping up here and there. There's a few there. And there's a few up here. So maybe after a little while I might get a few more. There's a few more there happening. So there we go. I don't think we'll get a lot more, but just a few. But I'll take a photo in, a, in a, about five minutes anyway, and I'll pop it up on my Facebook page, and you can see the, the finished product. But what do you think? Do you like the, the natural look of the clouds? Okay. Have a go. Um, if, you don't have, if, if you can't get the milk paint, you can just use satin enamels. Uh, it should work just the, just the same. Makes the cloudy effects. Okay, have fun with pouring. I'll see you real soon. Bye for now.